Hello friends and followers, this is Mike Bustamani with Keller Williams in Fresno. If you find these videos of interest, subscribe to my channel, then smash the bell to get notified of new videos. I'm always putting out new videos, dropping them once a week for you. And before we get started, remember you can always follow me on the socials at Mike Believes. Today, we are going to talk about staging your home yourself and doing it on a budget. Here are five ways to do it yourself on a budget. Number one, declutter every room. This means furniture as well. Put your knickknacks away, take everything off the fridge, clean off your desk, shelves, end tables. Take all your appliances off the counters. It's a lot of work to live this way, but you must look the best at all times. If you have a lot of furniture, you'll need to rearrange so you have a good flow from room to room. If you have too much furniture, you're going to have to end up getting rid of some of it to open up the room to make it look as large as possible. If you have lots of throw rugs on the floor that are covering up a beautiful wood floor, you need to remove them. Make these rooms look as bright as possible. At number two is doing a cleaning and a whole lot of it. When you have a professional photographer come in to take photos, you want the home to look the best. When people look online at your home photos, they want to, don't want to see the dirt and the clutter. They want to see the beautiful home that you have. Think about renting a pressure washer, washing the outside of the house, sidewalks, driveways. Give your home a new look. Tip number three, light it up. Make sure there's no burned out light bulbs anywhere in the house. Get them all changed out, brighten up each room. Make sure that the bulbs match in wattage and coolness so you don't have different discoloration going on. Add lighting to rooms if needed. You want all the rooms to be as bright as possible. Make sure all the lights are on during the showings as well. This adds beauty to the home and makes people feel much more open and inviting to come in. Tip number four, highlight the best features of the home. If you have a great looking fireplace, rearrange the furniture so it faces the fireplace and not the TV. If you have a fabulous in-ground pool, rearrange the outdoor furniture to accent the pool as if you're at a spa or a high-end hotel. If you have a china cabinet, clean the glass, put your best looking stuff right up front, whether they're dishes or knickknacks. So whatever the best features of the home are, make sure to accent them and draw attention to them. Tip number five, inexpensive home decor items. Go to inexpensive stores to buy home decor items, uh, Marshalls, Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, even yard sales. Buy vases, bowls, some wrought iron decor. Uh, put them on the shelves to accent the room and not over clutter it. Uh, buy bookends, go to Budwill store and buy some books if you have uh, empty shelves that need just a little accent. It doesn't matter what the books are. <laughs> buy items that are more modern and not really frilly. Uh, if you can't come up with any good ideas, go to Pinterest. Look around, there's some fantastic ideas on home decor there. There you have it, the five ways to decorate your home on the cheap. Thank you for watching. If you find any of this helpful, Please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified of the videos that I drop once a week. Uh, thank you for watching, and until next time, this is Mike Bustamante, that's spelled B-U-S-T-A-M-A-N-T-E. You can follow me on the socials at Mike Believes.